Bones Pro version 4.7 offers an immense speed up calculation both in the core and the viewport representation. Skinning computation are now fully multithreaded and this affects also subskin geometry modifications. Parabones has been completely rewritten and offer now hierarchy independent deformations. Metabone has got a huge boost in the speed and work now even with the most complex geometries almost in the real time. Move Bones tool allows artists to change Bones transformation afterwards and the mirror tool has been designed to be more user friendly. Parabones can now be any geometry in the scene. For the case of the presentation, I will create a simple dummy object and use it as a bone for our character. For using this defined Bones Pro setup for one object as a reference for all others, simply select the next object in the scene and without assigning Bones, press the Copy Bones button. Select now from the window the one already skinned object. This function will instantly copy all values to the new object and synchronize Bones Pro modifiers across the scene. Repeat this copy bones action to all other remaining objects in the scene you would like to include in the simulation. As next, select your deformation geometry, the object that will become parabone, and later deform the skin. Add parabone modifier to it and it will become the deformation actor. The last thing we need to do is just to tell Bones Pro in the scene to include this parabone into the calculation. Use the new Parabone Metabone Pick Object window and toggle it on. From now on, the Parabone can be moved and deform your character in the viewport in real time. But since we have multiple objects in the scene, which we would like to deform at the same time, assign to all of them this Parabone object and toggle it on. Now the result is just amazing. You can interact in the viewport with the objects and parabones and soft deform anything. Car crashes, face pumps, hits and compressions are with this new technique a simple game. If you push the parabone more than 50% of its volume into the body, you create just an opposite effect. You blow up the form from inside and modify it from inside as a bag. Just imagine moving a baby alien in the belly, a mouse under the carpet or medical object inserting the skin or traveling through the blood vessels. Just one remark, despite the massive optimizations, parabones are very computation consuming. A lot of rays scan the topology and it is recommended to simplify the colliding parabone object as much as possible. In most casing, a low poly proxy will do the best job as a parabone object. In Bones Pro version 4.7, due to multithreading, Metabones had got the most impressive speed boosts. These spherical parametric skin deformers work now hierarchy independent. They work in real time, even with the most complex geometries. I am using for this presentation an office-like workstation with Intel i5 and an old GeForce 500-600 GTX. The only limit at the moment is the max viewport speed. You can use many metabones in your scene and each will deform the skin object very fast and very precisely. For the optimal speed, we recommend you to use the new pick object unlinked parabone metabone function instead of the old linked toggle. Just as a video here shows it clearly, it is not only fast, it makes also great fun to transform your characters and objects in real time using the Metabone skin deformers. As the most requested feature, we have completely redesigned the skeleton modifications in the new version of Bones Pro. For this presentation I will use a character consisting of multiple parts, skin it and change afterwards the bone transformations. Add the Bones Pro modifier to the body part, assign all important bones to it, and then use the copy bone function on all other body parts to synchronize them.
now all body parts look at each other and using synchronized toggle copy instantly the values between them. This is an extreme helpful function for the simultaneous born influence setup which takes care that all objects get modified as a one. If you now go back to the typos and open the move bones window, you may choose which body parts should not be affected by the full bones transformation at the moment, but reassigned after the bone has been modified. Imagine just freezing an object for a second, changing bone setup and unfreezing it again. I will now simply change the sizes and rotations of the bones just to illustrate uh, the differences between uh, original and the modified skeleton. And at the end I will open again the move bones window, unselect all body parts or unfreeze them if you like and Bones Pro will execute all changes without any unpleasant surprises. One of the small issues has been also upgraded, the mirror tool. The mirror tool works now more precise and it has an option to show artists the direction where the selection will be copied to. Please use the mirror bone function always in the reference or in the typos to avoid uh, wrong axis rotations. Thanks a lot for watching and if you would like to learn more about Bones Pro, please visit the homepage www.bonespro.com or www.3dplugin.com.